Hello everyone, this is Dr. Terry from SmileCare. Today I want to talk to you about the structure and the curve in your neck. Now, in our spine, right, normally we have a curve, um, like a C-shaped curve in the neck and also in the lower back. The reason we have a curve is because our spine is designed like a spring, is to absorb the shock. For example, when you sit, when you're upright basically, when you sit, when you walk, when you do your activities of daily living, you're putting a weight on your spine and also your neck. Your head is actually quite heavy. So when you have a proper curve like this, it acts like a spring. However, when we lose the curve, this is what happens. There will be abnormal forces in your joints and your bones and your discs. And this is what can lead to damage because the spine cannot absorb the shock already. So to illustrate that point, let's look at your neck in a little bit more detail. So you can see that outside the neck is obviously covered by a lot of connective tissues and muscles and ligaments. But if you look inside at just the bones, what you see is that, so this is your x-ray on the left and then a bone model on the right you can see that not a normal neck, right? You have a bit of a curve like this and like this. So what happens in most people today is due to the way we sleep, due to the amount of time we spend looking down, whether looking on computers or phone or studying, etc. What happens is our neck tends to become straight over time. So as you can see in this picture, now it becomes straight. It's not, it's not curved anymore. What happens is there will be abnormal force distributed all along the, the neck. And most of the force will be centered at the front of the bones and also the discs instead of more middle and the backwards. So over time, this will lead to degeneration and accelerated wear and tear in your bones and your discs and sometimes it can even reverse the shape and now this is a more severe case where you can see that the curve has bent the other way remember the normal curve is like this now this is a severe reverse curve so what happens is there will be a lot of um, damage to the bones and the joints and the discs over time and it can lead to uh, bone spurs, arthritis, slip discs and so on and so forth and also obviously neck pain. So remember we want to try to bring the curve back like this. So, so what does a healthy curve and a healthy spine in the neck look like? Well you can see on the left here you have a good curve, the C-shaped curve and then you have the bones which are squared like, um, like ice cubes and then the black color space here is your, is your disc okay? um, you can see on the right here where there are very sharp bone spurs and then the disc spaces is also very thin now if you're not familiar with the term bone spurs and uh, slip disc and um, narrowing of the, the disc spaces Please feel free to watch my other videos on our SmileCare YouTube channel where I talk a little bit more in depth about this problem. But suffice, suffice to say, I want to let you know that it is important to have a good curve in the neck rather than a straight neck or a reverse curve. So you can see in this picture here, this curve is obviously forward. and you can see there is still a little bit of a this space over here but you can see up here that this space is very thin here also you can hardly distinguish between the two bones and here also that this space is very thin so this is a very severe case of degeneration in the neck this typically we will see in an elderly patient and the neck normally is very painful and very stiff so some of you may be wondering um, if I see a chiro, can't this just take care of my problem since I'm seeing a chiro to treat my neck problem? 
Well, the answer is yes and no. Because we chiropractors, when we treat your neck, right, most of the chiropractors will try to align your neck by adjusting the, the spine. For example, if the bone is here, we try to move the bone from here to maybe here. So we do this to basically align the bones, yes, and also help to um, restore movement in the joints and also help with the, the disc. But sometimes we are trying to adjust one bone, two bones, or three bones and for temporarily yes you can get the bones back in shape however the problem is many of you don't just have a bone misalignment problem the neck muscles at the front here is incredibly tight so in order to really keep the alignment the bone alignment to be in place for a longer period of time you need these front muscles here to be um, very very uh, how to say very um, very soft and flexible it cannot be so tight okay the ligaments the connective tissue the muscles need to be not so tight so just to give you an example most of the time this is a normal posture of a human but more and more I start always to see even kids these days, teenagers and adults coming in to see me with this kind of posture. So as I mentioned just now, the muscles at the front are very short, very weak and very tight. In order to structurally get your curve back and also get your posture back, you cannot just rely on the chiropractor to align the bones because some of you see me only twice a week in the initial stages of your treatment. Some of you under maintenance only see me once a month. However, you spend many hours every day looking at your phone, studying, looking in front of your computer, etc, etc. So over time, the effects of that is that the muscles here become very tight and they need to be stretched. So you need to do some exercise and rehabilitation to stretch out these ligaments and connective tissues and uh, tight muscles here so that they have a chance to be their normal length again and you have a chance to restore the, the natural curve in your, in your neck. I've actually, I've actually gone through this process before. What you see here is my personal neck x-ray. On the left is the first x-ray that I have ever taken when I was in uh, university my first year. As you can see, even when I was that young, I think I was around, if I'm not wrong, around 18, 17 or 18, you can see that I already lost the curve, the natural curve in my neck. Even though I need to emphasize, I have no pain, no pain whatsoever. But as a young boy, you can see I already lost the curve in my neck and it's straight. So I remember the Cairo that I used to see um, in addition to adjusting my spine and my neck, he always asked me to do extension traction, which I'll explain to you in a minute. But what that does is basically it helps to stretch all the ligaments and uh, tissues and muscles at the front of the neck to make it loose again and flexible again. This x-ray on the right is after. This is actually taken long, long after. This is uh, year 2016 when I took this x-ray. And you can see that I actually have my natural curve in my neck back. So it is actually possible to structurally change your curve in the, in the neck if you know what you're doing. So one of the things that I did in university when I was seeing this Cairo is he asked me to do extension stretching. Basically that means lying on top of a foam like this and you tilt your head backwards so you let gravity pull your head backwards and then there's a like a device with a rope with a string here that actually produces a, a tension which pulls your neck downwards and also you can actually adjust the the force accordingly what this does is it stretches the muscles and you need to do this for a prolonged period of time so that the muscles has a chance to actually become longer and become more 
flexible. So if you look under the X-ray, this is what you see. You can can you see that the device is trying to bend your neck backwards and trying to restore the C curve, the normal curve of your neck, and also at the same time trying to um, stretch all the muscles and ligaments here so that they can they can become normal and you can get back your curve and get back your posture. Now, understandably, this extension stretch traction is a bit more aggressive so to to do this right not everybody can do it you need to be fairly healthy your bones and your neck need to be fairly healthy and fairly um, flexible for some of you that have major issues or severe sleep this severe arthritis or severe problems in your neck you may not be able to do this aggressive form of uh, extension traction so there is another device for you which i will talk to you in the next present the next video. M1000 Posture Pump wraps safely and securely around your head and neck. A pressurized pillow of air lifts and lowers your spine, shaping your neck's curvature and decompressing your joints. Nutrient-rich fluid is drawn into your disc pads, ensuring a healthy spine and well-lubricated joints. So the video that you just saw is the device with the less aggressive form of uh, neck traction um, we actually stock both of these devices in, uh, in, in the clinic so you can uh, talk to our front desk staff Kales or Saras or you can come and ask me when you see me and I can show you how to use it safely and effectively at home so in addition to your chiropractic care or some of you even do some massage or some exercise this neck traction that you can do by yourself at home will really take your treatment up another level. As you can see from my x-ray, if I can change the curve of my neck and restore back the normal curve and restore back the posture, I'm sure you can do it too with a little bit of um, effort and a little bit of determination. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful and beneficial, please click on subscribe on our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page so that you can be notified when we release our next video. Thank you and bye-bye.